So if you've been watching my channel at any length of time, you've seen where I started an aquaponics build there. And this was the fish tank that, um, that I was going to use for that build. And since I started, you know, it's been a big lull since the last update. Uh, I really, after running the other system, finding out what works, you know, and what things don't work, what design flaws I have in that, uh, it's kind of made me rethink it. That's why there hasn't been a video up in a while. Plus, I've been doing a lot of dabbling in some hydroponics as well, which is a lot of fun. Uh, but anyways, uh, after giving it some thought, I'm just going to give you a basic overview of what I'm planning on doing. Um, right here, if you notice, on this platform, this is where I had all my uh, Dutch buckets set up before. And originally, I had this 300-gallon tank there before I even had a system in place. And I had it up and running with no grow beds. And I just decided that I didn't like that for one reason or another. But after rethinking it, I, uh, I decided that, you know what, I am going to use this here. But I'm actually going to put both tanks into one integration. And hold on, I'll walk around the other way and show you why that is. If you look at my whole system from a whole, my old system right now, if you look, look how just long and spread out that is. Uh, definitely a bigger footprint. Of course, I ain't, ain't like I don't have the the room for it. But you know, and I got a big pump in the tank. But it's it's just a lot of waste. Um, it's not designed right. It's working okay, but it's not nowhere near where I want it to be. Um, so, anyways, what I'm going to plan on doing is is if you look down here in the sump tank, I've actually taken out the moving bed biofilter and I put it in the fish tank. But that's another video. Anyways, you see the, the pump down there in the sump tank, and you got the filter barrels here, and you got the one tank that's running out of the shed. Right there, you see all the uh, the plumbing stuff running out here, and then it comes over here, and it goes to the grow beds, and then back, and it runs that circle. What I plan on doing is putting this tank here. Actually, I can move that tank inside over to here, and I'm going to, I haven't figured out the exact design yet, but I'm going to change this filter system up where all this comes together a little better and if you look out here I had some some raised beds they're kind of weedy now it's still producing a lot you know cucumbers and stuff are growing like mad gosh I got more cucumber you can shake a stick at but anyways um, I want to get all this you know landscape fabric down have the grow beds come out this way right off these barrels but actually can you know condense the plumbing some more Use the same sump tank, it's going to be because the pump's big enough to run to everything. Especially if I shorten up the load on it and uh, um, make it not have to work so hard. Uh, but anyways, that's what I plan on doing. Now, some suggestions are always nice to have. It's kind of hard though if you're not really on the, here on the project. But uh, it certainly be a lot better and producing a lot more uh, when I get done. One of the reasons why is that, you know, these, these beds ain't draining right, and it's for a couple of reasons. One, the drain pipe's too small, it's an inch, it should be bigger. Two, the angle isn't quite right, so, I mean, it's just almost straight, so. Anyways, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing that project, um, but it'll be shortly. Probably after I get done clearing out this stuff, let it grow a little bit more. I got a couple of melons over there growing and, and some other stuff and get that cleared out. And then I'm going to hook it up together. Now, the reason this tank's going to be outside, if you want to say algae, oh, well, I thought about it. You know, tilapia is what I plan on growing in this. Tilapia feast off algae. So I should just give them an open source here. Now, I know algae and aquaponics, but I don't think there's going to be a lot of it really floating because I think they're going to be taking care of a lot of it for me. At least that's the plan. So, anyways, if I'm here, I'll give you a quick update on the bed. A, a, a little while back, um, uh, Talked about some nutrient deficiencies. I've added some stuff to it. This basil looked a little weak because I transplanted it from one bed, but I've added, I did add some potassium to it, and actually I did notice a big a lot of changes in the tomatoes. Now that these tomatoes hang down, I did notice some changes in some of the stuff. Some of it was in pretty rough shape already, so it doesn't wasn't even going to matter, but I have seen some marked improvements in what's in here. Uh, one thing that's growing really excellent is this okra goodness <laughs> and I mean it really made a huge difference when I mean I put the potassium and it really started I got a couple there yeah, there's a nice big old okra in there one of them 
Actually, that thing's ready to be picked. I got the camera. It's kind of yeah. It's, it's kind of hard to see, but if you notice, I got a bunch of little babies coming on. It's kind of hard to see it in there, but hopefully you can see it's bright as heck out here. Uh, but anyways, that's what I got going with the aquaponics, guys. Uh, that's the system update. What I plan on doing as well. So hey, uh, if you got any questions, go ahead and feel free to put them in the the box below. Also, uh, would love to hear. You know, any suggestions, hey, go ahead and subscribe. Keep up to date with what I'm doing and, you know, building this community. I look forward to getting all you guys' feedback. So that's what is going to happen. That's the plan. Uh, hopefully be producing plenty of fish and veggies. I'm getting some good veggies, but I'm going to be doing a video shortly, too, to kind of talk about more what I did uh, with the potassium, what I used, and how much I used. It wasn't exact science, kind of just a figure out and see but it's actually done really good all the way around um probably could use some a little bit of manganese in there too you know manganese sulfate epsom salt whatever you want to call it but uh anyways hey i appreciate it guys y'all have a great one thanks a lot look forward to discussing it with you bye